Hey everybody, it's Glamour Guru. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a little demonstration tutorial on the Hada Labo Ultimate Anti-Aging Facial Mask. If you all remember, I got this in the Nurture Vox Box from Influencer. Complimentary, free. I did not pay any money to get any of the products from that Vox Box. So today I'm going to be putting it on and letting you know how I feel, how my skin feels afterwards. Here we go. The good thing about that, about this, is that it does give you instructions through pictures. Oh my gosh! <sighs> so slimy, I can't open it. It's like the slime, the the moisture, not slime, comes out immediately when you're opening it. So. Oh my goodness, so right there it's telling you that it's, suppo it's supposed to be moisturizing. Okay, so this is what I'm pulling out and it is like super wet. Oh my goodness. I'm excited and scared all at the same time because if it's really, really good, I will be purchasing this. If my skin is irritated and it breaks out afterwards, it's a whole lot of product on this mask. So, Jesus protect my skin. And if you hear any giggles in the background, I'm going to tell you two of my daughters wanted to be in here for this. Why, do you ask? Why? Would you want to be in here for this? All right. Why are you watching now? <laughs> ah, okay, so I'm going to place the mask on. I'm not going to look at you like I am. I'm going to be looking in the mirror because I will have part of this on my head, in my hair. If I don't, oh my gosh, that feels so good. I'll tell you, it is so hot this summer. If I could, if I had the confidence or that no care attitude that you need, you know, like people have when they do certain things out in public, and you're like, oh my goodness, I would never do that. Okay, so I wish that I didn't care as much as I do. I would go outside right now in the heat with this thing. Because it is so cooling. Would y'all be embarrassed? Yeah. I'd be yeah. embarrassed. <laughs> You'd have to say, that wasn't my mom. No, that wasn't. That was yeah. someone else's mom. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you have to keep this on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm not going to sit and talk to you all for that length of time. I'm going to stop the video because I really don't know how much battery life. Otherwise, I would love to give you guys a good giggle um, while I keep this on. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it on for 15-20 minutes off camera. And then I'm going to come back and then we're going to chat about this product. Hada Labo Anti-Aging. The ultimate anti-aging facial mask results. Alright, stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm back and we have about three more minutes left. What I want to tell you about this is the cool thing is, is when I pull this off, all I'm going to have to do is say gently pull it off. I don't think there's any other way to pull it off because it's so moisturized on me. It, it, it does not dry within 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes is the leeway that they give you to um, remove it. But um, you gently pull it off and then you pat the, what's left of the serum into your skin and that's what you do. But let me tell you, before I take this off, you know the superstar that my daughters told me that I look like with this on? <laughs> None. They said I look like a stalker. I thought they came in here to support me. I think <laughs> she said that you look like a serial killer. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 
A stalker would have been better. <laughs> they said I look like a serial killer. <laughs> okay, thanks, girls. Thank you very much. Okay, so anyway, let me see. All right, so a couple more minutes. So as you can see, I am wearing my eye makeup from another video and my lipstick because I wasn't brave enough to um, take everything off and then do this. What I knew um, is that there was enough eye opening for me to keep this on and then of course the lip opening for me to have my lipstick still on so I'll look at least somewhat normal <laughs> with this on but um anyway let's see how much time have we use okay so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this off and they say be gentle as you peel it so that's what I'm gonna do and then just slid the rest of the way off. So right now I'm going to go ahead and put the remaining portion of this back inside of the packet so I can just throw it all away at once. But anyway, I'm going to follow the instructions. So I'm going to do what it says. Let me tell you guys, though, if you're not used to wearing a mask like that, it's kind of like when you first start to wear glasses and you have that and it's resting on your nose and you have that weird feeling. At least I did. Maybe I'm the only one who felt that way. But um, when you put glasses on and your nose has to get used to it so it has this weird sensation and you kind of have to take them off for a little bit and then wear them for a little longer. Well, that's kind of a similar um, feeling that I have while wearing this mask because I'm not used to wearing something on my face. So it's like not irritating, but it's weird. So it's like I wanted to take it off sooner, but I wanted to um, feel the result of the product as well. Get, give you guys a full evaluation, but it is very hydrating to the skin and very moisturizing. You know, but it's so moisturizing to the point, like, how long am I supposed to pat this into my skin? Because it's like, it's never going to dry. That's the way it feels. So, and they say pat. I want to rub it in like lotion. It's not thick like lotion, but this is where you find out how I can be so impatient with certain things. Because I'm being impatient with this stuff. It's like, it's not going to dry. It's just not. I mean, look at it. Can you see it? It's like it just won't, my skin won't absorb it. And it didn't really say, I mean, I felt like I was supposed to have clean skin beforehand, which I did. But I wonder if there's something that you can do unless, let me see something. Because I don't want to over pat it. Gently remove and discard. Do not rinse. Pat excess serum into skin. So that's what I'm doing. But it doesn't say pat and pat excess into skin until it dries. So I patted it. I wonder what happens. I'm just gonna stop. And then I'll know should I get another one, whether just to keep patting it until it like eventually dries or what. But anyway, so right now, as you can see, my skin is shiny from the product. Um, I'm not irritated. Um, there are no red areas that I can see. I'm not itching. I'm not burning. Um, it seems, as far as my skin is concerned, I'm very sensitive when it comes to trying different things on my skin. Um, it seems to be very gentle as far as the product and the ingredients are concerned. But I can tell you if I can probably type in the comments if you ask me later on, was there any discomfort? Was there any... Um, rashes or anything that happened after it was absorbed into the skin I'll be able to tell you so I might even just add a comment in, the, in there saying no reaction whatsoever or I broke out a little bit or whatever whatever happens I will let you all know so that you'll be aware of what could possibly happen to you or someone else if your skin is sensitive anyway I hope you all enjoyed that if you've never tried this product before, I hope this video was helpful in some way. Um, I don't have the 
price with me, but I do believe it was uh, around $14. I'll put it in there. I can't remember. I will put it in the information area and let you know the um, price that was listed on the card that came with the Nurture Vox Box because it did list the retail value of this product. And so anyway, you all take care. I enjoyed myself. I'm sure my girls enjoyed it more than all of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So um, you all take care, have a blessed day, and I will see you all on the next video, God willing. Bye-bye.